What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, Real Talk Wednesday, you guys. Hope you all are having like a really great day. You know what I'm saying? You know, really, really great day. Cause I am, listen, it's Monday, actually. You guys already know that. I don't really think I have to keep telling you guys that, but I hope you guys have like a really great, safe, fun weekend. I have a really good weekend. Um, This past weekend, I, I was able to get out and just enjoy myself, you know? I was at my bestie's house, my bestie, and we had like a really great time. We had, um, I helped her decorate because it was her daughter's gender reveal. Okay. So Saturday, me, Mumsy, and Navy was at my bestie Rebecca's for her daughter's gender reveal party. I've never been to a gender reveal ever. So that was the first. And I was really excited about that. Um, she's actually having a little girl and, you know, we had such a great time. Uh, I don't think I came home until like 12 something, like a little bit after 12. So I was there for like quite some hours, her family um, and the young man's family. You know, I'm part of the family anyway. Is, is that that's what I'm told. So, you know, we had like a really good time, um, drinks and snacks, appetizers and stuff like that. So, yeah, we had a really great time. And that was Saturday. Um, so, yeah, I did that on Saturday, Friday, either Thursday, Thursday. I went and got my nails done, redone. Um, a different color. This is a really pretty color. I like this color, girl. And I actually got a pedicure too, okay? Got my feet done. I haven't gotten my feet done in a minute, but they match. They look real cute and stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure you got them on C. And that's about it. So today I've just been chilling, been preparing, been preparing for an upcoming wig sale this Saturday. I have Oh my God, like 60 freaking wigs, all human hair wigs, wig sale. For those of you guys who have been emailing me like crazy, I do apologize for not replying to a lot of you guys, but I finally found the time and I had so much to do and I got to do some stuff today for it also. So yes, this coming weekend will be a huge wig sale Um, and I will definitely post all the information hopefully by Thursday. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, my sales are only like a day. It's a Saturday and most of the stuff goes super duper quick. So just that, that'd be like the, the worst part for me is the work that I have to do for the wig sale. But, um, yeah. Anyway, other than that, I ain't been really doing much, um, was deciding which lashes I wanted to put on today. Um, you know, once you go really big, like I love lashes and I like them really big now before I used to didn't like them really big, but girl, a girl love like some really big lashes. Like give me like 30 mil. Well, these are 22 millimeters. So that's big enough for me like these, but the ones that I have on are like the 22s and girl, these was only a dollar 88 on shop. Miss a, you know, when you, you look cute on a budget. All right. So these are from there and you could look super duper cute on a budget. Sometimes I don't like them so big and full. Sometimes I just like them really long like this and not too full, but I thought these look really cute. Like, you know, not too dramatic for like the two cornrows that I got going on and the no makeup, but a dollar 88 girl for these lashes. I will definitely leave the link. You know, look, I'm going to do a promo for you guys and these nice greasy ass lips girl. Mm. But damn shop miss a. Okay. Yes, girl. Y'all got to get into it. But, you know what I'm saying? I am definitely going to share that info with you guys. So, if you got a dollar, you can definitely get you one of these. And if you got two dollars, you can get you some lashes because they're a dollar eighty-eight. For a dollar, make me holla. And make sure you check out my recent Dollar Tree video. I went to the same Dollar Tree Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because they restocked. So look, same Dollar Tree. I took y'all along with me. I, I didn't do a haul, but I took you to the store and let you see what they had. And I also posted the, um, the address. So if you guys live out here in the AZ, you know, Arizona, then you could definitely check that store out, that Dollar Tree. I think that's the best Dollar Tree in the entire world. But if you think your Dollar Tree is better than mine, please drop it down below. Let me know what you think about your Dollar Tree, why it's better than my Dollar Tree, okay? But I doubt that it is. So anyway, you guys, we're going to get into this real talk. We're going to do a promo. What do you know? So if you got a couple of coins to spend, then here we go. Why don't you get it by thousand? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that? Why is I love it one-sided? 
it should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering his feelings. Going through changes. Just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it. Before we get too far away, I need to clear my mind. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it. Before we cross the line and we reach a point we can't reach. Rewind. 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 Hiding these feelings, going through changes. I'm just so mad, but now it's at my own expense. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it, knowing you won't read it. Before we get too far away, I need to clear my mind. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it. Before we cross the line and we reach a point we can't reach. guys so first of all y'all already know about real talk but by the time this video goes up it'll be wednesday which is a day later but tomorrow which is tuesday my mumsy is going to be graduating from the eighth grade so this is her last year in elementary school they they call it elementary school here but you know the eighth grade is really like junior high school in new york and other count in other states but here in arizona um their elementary school is from grades kindergarten through the eighth grade. There's only a little bit of schools, uh, you know, very few schools out here that offer grades seven through eight. Come August, she will be going to high school, the ninth grade. So tomorrow is her promotion. They call it promotion, and it's a drive-through promotion. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm like so over this whole, you know, panorama, Pan, pan, panorami, whatever you want to call it, okay? I'm, like, really over the whole COVID-19, like the COVID-19. I'm just over it, okay? And it takes, like, a lot of energy out of me sometimes. Not even a lot, but I just, you know, you, you start to realize, like, you've missed out on a lot of things, like, really important things, like prom, you know, like, you're a high schooler and you've missed out on prom. And so, and, like, graduation, like, I've waited... I waited 18 years for my daughter to graduate from high school and watch her walk across the stage, and I wasn't able to do that. I know there's, like, so much different opinions on this whole panorama, okay, because I don't even want to call it what it really is, bullshit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, I think, like, I think it needs to be over already. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel. If y'all have a real talk, you can always send me an email to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Or like my girl right here just did, she sent it to my regular email, which is muffinismylovers2012 at gmail. It doesn't really matter. As long as you put in the subject line, real talk, I'm going to see and I'm going to read it, okay? So you know what I'm saying? So make sure you hit a likey like when you come in to watch this video and share it with your girls, your guys, your friends, your enemies, share with whoever, your baby daddy, your baby mama, your, your side chick, just share the damn video, okay? So let's get into this. Huh? 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 What? Damn. Hey, love. Hello, love. You can call me Peaches. Okay, she want to be called a piece of fruit for this. All right. Sorry, this is a this is not a relationship advice, but 
about my family. So basically, she's sorry. This is, honey, it's not always about relationships with me. Okay, I'll just tell you whatever. You know, you write me, and I'm going to give you my opinions. It don't got to be about no relationship. So on April 2nd of this year, my grandmother passed away from a heart attack. And I'm very sorry to hear that, Peaches. I'm still grieving till this day, but I'm trying to stay strong. So my grandmother wanted to be buried in South Carolina. Now, of course, all of this was last minute and rushing fast, but we as a family made that wish come true for her. I am the only one living on my own. My mom and brothers and dad live together, and my aunt and her husband and kids all still live together. So we had to pay for our plane tickets to go down to South Carolina and help with funeral costs. Now, I just started my new job, so I was lucky they were able to have me be gone for a week for the funeral. Money was really tight for me, but I made it work because this is for my grandma. As we were down there, we all talked and spent time with family. And then they stated we should come back again next summer of 2022 to, be, to do a big family get together slash reunion. I was down because then I can save money and not be in a tight stretch. Well, we came back from the trip and a week later, my mom stated, we want to go back to South Carolina again for grandma's birthday from June 30th to July 6th of this year, 2021. I told her I would have to think about that and get my finances in order before I can personally say yes and go. But if they want to go without me, they can. My mom rolled her eyes and then later on that day, she asked me if I had $500 for a plane ticket for June. I told her I'm low on cash and waiting on my next paycheck because I need to pay my bills and everything since I do live alone. Again, her and my aunt got upset and said, we want to all fly together. I told her I didn't even get those dates accepted by my job because I don't have enough PTO to cover myself since I just started this job. My aunt made a comment and stated, well, can't you go on this trip without PTO? I'm like, really? So everyone can go on a trip and get paid without a worry in the world, but I have to go without being paid and struggle all over again. And then they mentioned, just call off for July 1st and 2nd, since you're off the weekend and the 5th of July. I told them again, I have to think about it. Well, fast forward to yesterday. My mom is stating your plane ticket is still $500 for those days. When are you planning on getting it? When are you planning on buying the plane ticket? I'm so upset. Like, I can't believe I'm being forced into this. I'm trying to save money and get my finances in order. And I'm getting pushed in the corner to go on a trip that I cannot afford. Plus, they were only going to visit my grandmother's grave one day for her birthday and then go clubbing and drinking after that. The rest of the days, they would be there. And I'm not into the clubbing and drinking and stuff. What should I do? Please help me. I'm 24 years old and I'm tired of my family expecting me to bend over backwards for them all the time. I want to celebrate my grandmother's birthday, which I have planned on doing, but I just can't afford to go to South Carolina like they want to. My original plans was to go to the lake that is across the street from my grandmother's apartment and read a letter I wrote to her and do a purple balloon send off. Please help me, Miss April. I know my family is going to keep harassing me about this, and I would make me and would make me out to be the bad guy once again for saying no and sticking up for myself. Peaches. Okay, so first of all, let's just get into this. Peaches. Peaches' grandmother unfortunately passed away on the second of April, this April of 2021, and they buried her in South Carolina. So Peaches' mother and aunt. We're all sitting around during the funeral. You know, they all got together, the family down there. And they plan on doing a family reunion next summer. Next summer of 2022. Okay, that's a whole year and some months to plan. Which gave Peaches enough time to get her finances together. Now, let's just get this straight. Peaches just started a brand new job right before the funeral. So, you ain't got no time off. Now, if you already planned something, let's do a family get-together in the summertime of 2022. That gives her more than enough time. She can accumulate some PTO. She can accumulate some savings. And they all agreed to on that. Now, here we go. We got Peach's mom and Peach's aunt, which her sister saying, well, we want to fly back to South Carolina at the end of June just for mommy's birthday, grandma's birthday. We want to celebrate her birthday. Her mom is like, well, when you going to buy that $500 plane ticket so you can get going with us? 
Peach is trying to explain to her family that she ain't got it like that. She ain't got no PTO time. She ain't even got money like that. She live on her own. She don't live with nobody. Everybody else live with family members, with their husband and their kids. They all live together. They're united. You know what I'm saying? They're unity. Peaches is alone on her own. And they trying to basically back Peaches up into a corner to buy this ticket. They keep harassing her. They keep asking her when she gonna get this money together so, you know what I'm saying, she can get her ticket going and get on that plane so they can all fly together. They telling her, well, why do you need to go on PTO? Why can't you just call in? Call out. Call out. Call out at the first, the second, the third. The, you know what I'm saying? Call out those days in July and just let them know that you can't be there. Need to feel like she being backed into a corner. She she don't she she want to say no. She should what she should say is motherfucking no. Okay. Here's this is my thing. Okay. Yes, that's nice. Okay, Peach's, Peach's aunt and mother gonna go down to the funeral, to the grave site. They gonna, they gonna pay their respects, and then after that, they gonna go clubbing and drinking, all right? They 20... <laughs> Peach's is 24. Now, I can only imagine how old her mother is. Not saying they need to sit their old asses home, but here's the thing. Peach's got um, priorities. She got responsibilities. She live on her own. She got a brand new job. It's, it's a shame that family be the one that always try to get you and dig you in a hole. I, I'm telling you guys, it be, it be fucked up like that because family is like the biggest word ever. And so when you think about family, you really feel like family's supposed to hold you down. They're supposed to have your back, all of that shit, okay? And her mother keep harassing her about getting $500 together to buy a plane ticket. And then her aunt is harassing her about, oh, just call out on your job. She already done told them she ain't got no PTO. She already done told them her finances ain't straight. If you done told me that I ain't got no PTO and my finances ain't straight, then either I'm going to offer you to buy you a ticket or I'm going to tell you, you know what, honey, you do the right, respectable thing, the responsible thing, and stay your ass here. You know what I'm saying? But she shouldn't even have to tell them that because they know she just started a job. So if he just lose her job, who gonna take care of her? Who gonna pay her rent? Who gonna pay her light bill? Who gonna pay her water bill? Who gonna pay her cable bill? Who gonna pay her cell phone bill? Her internet bill? Like, I mean, I'm just saying, or all these things, who gonna pay that for Peaches? She gonna get fired from the job and they gonna be like, girl, why you ain't just this not go? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be a no, it's a, it's a no win situation. And she feel like she being forced and then they gonna say she the bad guy. Let me tell you something. I guess I just be the bad motherfucking guy. I guess I'll be the villain in this one because my answer would be no, I'm not going. No, I'm not buying no plane ticket. I already told you that I have a job that I just started and my finances are not together. You think that you gonna be able to keep a job because you tell them that, well, I gotta go celebrate my grandmother's passing, or you think that your job is gonna be so accepting for you to be calling out when you just started your job? I'm pretty sure they would if you had like, you know, the COVID, but that's not the chance, that's not the case. And why even put a lie on yourself? Why lie? Why lie? Why lie to a job that you just got? Either way, they're gonna just look at you sideways. And why even put yourself in that predicament? Peaches, your mother and your aunt, they're not really worried about your responsibilities because if they were, they wouldn't be asking you to call out of work and they wouldn't be asking you about, well, why do you need to go with PTO, okay? I told y'all before, when the last video that I did, um, it was like two weeks ago, and it wasn't about no family members, but it was about a girl whose boyfriend always wanted to, you know what, to her in the backside. And she was forced to do this every week. I told y'all before, don't force yourselves to do something to make somebody else happy. Like, seriously? Why put yourself in a predicament just to make somebody else happy? Do you really think that your mother or your aunt is gonna do that for you? I mean, we don't know. Maybe they would, but they seem like they're a little bit irresponsible right now because they're expecting you to put your job on the line because that's exactly what you'll be doing, girl. Put your job on the line, hop on a plane, possibly lose your job and come back with less money and no job and really be struggling. And um, I'm sorry, but rent ain't cheap and moving ain't neither. And I'm pretty sure Peaches don't want to move her sweet peach ass back to her mama and daddy house, okay? So what I would do in your predicament, honey, you have to let your mama know. And you don't even have to let your aunt know because that's not your mother, it's your aunt. You need to let your mother know, mama. It's not a good time. I can't afford it. And I just started a new job. I don't have the time off. 
and I don't have the finances. I need to secure my place at this place of employment. And I also need to secure my bag, my rent money, my electricity bill money, and whatever other type of bill money you got. You need to secure that. And you also need to let her know, ain't nobody going to be paying my rent for me if I get fired. Ain't nobody going to pay my grocery bill if I get fired. And even if your mother was to offer you the $500 to get the plane ticket, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go. You know what I'm saying? It's great that you want to celebrate your grandmother's passing, uh, her birthday. And I think the way that you want to celebrate her birthday is just an amazing way. If that's what you thought of doing already, then I'm pretty sure that your grandmother would accept that and appreciate that. I'm pretty sure your grandmother wouldn't want you to lose your job to go all the way to South Carolina to celebrate her birthday. It ain't about having to be right there at that place. And if they already the made plans for 2022 family reunion, then that's what you stick to, sweetheart. We got, you know, see, this is the thing. I don't like last minute plans. I don't, I don't like shit like that. And me personally, you're not about to back me in no corner and make me feel forced to do anything for any of you, your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your bestie. If I'm not going to be feeling comfortable with it, then I'm not going to do it. If I said no, no means no. And you know what sucks, though? Because she doesn't really want to say no, but she does want to say no. It'd be hard to say no. Like, for me, too, like, it'd be hard for me sometimes to say no to my kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? But there comes a time and a place where you cannot put yourself out for anyone else like it ain't even got nothing to do with well would they do that for me you know what i'm saying sometimes you just gotta be like no no means no you know what i'm saying there be times like i get at last minute can you watch the kids can you watch the kids and i'll be tired and i'll be having already plans you know what i'm saying and when i say plans like you know i got my little to-do list and i like to stick to my little to-do list well that's me you know what i mean even though i i want to stick to my little to-do list and i want to do what i want to do and i got things that i need to do and i might be asked at the very last moment like 20 minutes 10 minutes prior yo can i drop the kids off there are times when i wanted to say no but I don't only because you know listen those are my kids those are my grandkids and I would never want to do them like that and I always want to be there for them you know what I'm saying it has nothing to do with will they do that for me because like I don't really need you to watch nobody for me but sometimes we do have to say no and there have been times when I have said no if I tell you no I mean no and it's unfortunate that Peach's mom she a grown ass woman. She's gotta be like my age, cause Peaches is 24 years old. You know, my daughter Tati is 25 now. She's 25 now. But she gotta be like my age, you know what I'm saying? So for her mom to be like around my age, she should realize like, listen, this is my daughter. She got responsibilities and priorities. She just got a job. Come on, man, give her some decency. Give her a little respect, like, yo, you know what? She right, she just got this job. She got money, she got bills to pay, she got finances to pay. She got a job that she gotta be responsible for. And I would respect that. Like, I'm not about, it. look, the only way that I would ask you is if I'm gonna buy your ticket. And if you just told me that you got bills to pay, then I would be like, if, and if you want her to go so bad, Peaches Mama, then you should offer her the $500 to pay for her ticket. Other than that, Peaches, here's my answer. Mama, I can't go. That's it. I'm not I'm not going to be able to go. I have a job to be responsible for, and I have bills that I want to be responsible for. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to make it this time. But definitely next year of 2022, I'm there. I'm sorry. I hope you guys have a safe trip and also have a good fun trip. But I already have plans for grandmama and this is how I'm going to celebrate her birthday and I hope you can respect that. And that's that. If your mother gets mad that you can't go, then it's, you know what I'm saying? There's no respect there. Like, seriously. Like, you have to, people have to know their boundaries sometimes. And there's no disrespect to Peach's mother because I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure she's my age. But you got to understand people have priorities first. And that's real you know, grown up of Peaches because she's 24 years old. And who don't like to go on a nice trip and hang out and chill? And you know what I'm saying? Have a good time at that age. You know what I'm saying? But she not that responsible life. And girl, look, jobs are hard to find these days, okay? Straight up, she just got the damn job. Jobs are super duper hard to find. And I guarantee you, bitch, if you just got the job or not just got the job, a job will fire your ass in a heartbeat because they know there are more than able-bodied people out there that are willing to work their ass off instead of calling out. Let me tell you something. You know you get the side eye at work if you call out when you just start. Girl, please. 
she already called out because of the circumstances. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there are no circumstances right now. This is not like a priority. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be damned. I'm really disappointed in Peaches' aunt because she said, well, you can call out. Uh, excuse me, are you calling your job out or do you have a job? And if you do have a job, are you calling out too? Oh, you got PTO, paid time off, right? Oh, okay, well then, that's good for you. And what about you, mama? Are you calling out too? And if not, oh, do you have PTO or do you have a job? Because a girl like me ain't got no PTO accumulated. They telling you to be irresponsible. And that's what you should tell them. Mama, are you asking me to be irresponsible? Are you asking me to lie? Be irresponsible. Ain't you proud of me that I already got responsibilities? I'm paying my bills. I'm working. I'm not asking anybody for anything. I'm trying to live my best life, live my grown-up life. Don't ever do nothing for somebody just because they want you to do it for them. Don't lower yourself just to make somebody else happy. Don't put your ass on the line just to make somebody else happy. Don't force, don't let nobody force you to do some shit you don't want to do. That's like saying to somebody, bitch, if you don't rob this motherfucking grocery store, we ain't friends no more. Boo, bitch, I guess we won't be friends no more. Goodbye. We could be starting today. We enemies, okay? Well, bitch, if you don't if you don't call out to work, I'm not fucking with you no more. Just won't be fucking with each other no more because I'm not calling out to work. If you don't go to this uh, South Carolina trip, then we're not going to speak to you. Well, I guess we won't be speaking to one another. Oh, hey, adios, amigos. Uh, arrivederci. See you when I see you. Peace. Would they do that for you? Ask your mother. Won't you put my shoes on and wear them? I'm just saying. Ask ask your mother would she do that. Honey, I know it's hard to say no, especially to family members at times. Can I borrow $500 and that's all you had in your bank account? Would you say yes? That's like giving your whole livelihood away just to make them two people happy. Understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you the one that's miserable on the whole trip. This your livelihood. This your bread and butter. I don't know where you work at, girl. And it don't even matter where you work at. You could work at Payless Shoe Source, okay? Or at a grocery store. Or I don't give a fuck where you work at. The main thing is this. You work. And a job is hard to come by. I don't know how long you waited to get that job. I don't know how many applications you had to put in to get the motherfucking job. However, you needed a job. Because who's going to go get a job if they didn't need one? Like, I mean, seriously, if you didn't need a job, you're just going to go to get a job? No. People get a job because they need a job. They need a source of income. So here's the thing. I'm pretty sure you put in work to get that job because finding a job is a motherfucking job. And why allow someone to take that from you? You gambling with your employer if you decide to say yes and go buy that motherfucking ticket and trial up your ass onto South Carolina. Sweetheart, let your family know I'm not going to be able to attend this. Don't allow someone to force you to get into a predicament that your ass can't get out of. What I mean is get out of it. You go with them and then you come back and you ain't got no job and you ain't got no $500. I just feel really bad for her because they trying to make her feel bad, rolling the eyes and stuff. Very not, not grown, not grown at all. But you know what? You can handle that with a simple no. And that's it. Point blank, period. I mean, yeah, the word period is a cute word, but y'all will use it for anything. Let me give y'all a few examples. Oh my God, I just got pulled over. Oh my God, period queen, bitch, fuck the law. Bitch, oh my god, my dog just died. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, period, bitch. Purr, like, oh my god, fuck that dog. Eh, put that bitch down. Girl, I just found out my mom has cancer. Oh my god, she's a cancer? I'm a Leo. Tee -hee -hee, period, queen. Like, okay, like, oh my god.